Tommy, you said to me on some occasions last season that you love 1-0 wins and you'd sometimes take them over something like a thrashing. So are those your thoughts again today? Well, I think you've got to be able to win games both ways. You know, we obviously like to play the way we want to play, but you've always got 11 blokes against you who want to have a say in that. And I thought, having got myself in the, in the lead with one of the very few real bits of quality, the move and the finish, um, was really, really pleasing to do it so early on in the game. It gave us something to dig in for. We knew we were going to have periods where we were on my back foot because they're a very front-footed side themselves. Chris, Chris is a good good coach, good manager, and his teams are always very well set up and difficult to break down. Last year, both games, was only one goal in the both games um, in terms of the difference in the teams. So, yeah, like, I'm really pleased because I don't, I don't think we had the metal um, or the tenacity to have seen that out last season. I think we assessed what we needed to improve on and I think it was definitely, you know, we've got to protect the goalkeeper a bit more. Uh, and I thought them three lads at the back were like, being where we are in the world, like pit props, they were, they were superb. And um, they were ably assisted by the lads in the wide areas and the two guys in the engine room had a really hard day today. Like physically, they'll be drained because there wasn't, we didn't play that much great looking football, but we absolutely threw our bodies on the line all over the park. And that, that's really pleasing as a gaffer. Oli Harfield was missing from the lineup. You say about the back three there. Obviously, he didn't miss a single minute last season. Yeah. So that is something that you know is not very common for us. So it's great to see the depth yeah. that can come in and still keep a clean sheet without him. Well, I'm delighted for Lack. He's been patient. He's done. He done nothing wrong in pre-season. I was very close to starting him in the first game of the season because he, he played as many minutes as most. And, and you know, I think he's ready for the level. He's honest. He's game. He's brave. And uh, and he's not bad on a ball. To be fair to the lad. So you know, we call him Mick Dundee because because he's from Oz. But uh, listen. What I've got here is I've got a group of guys who want to play. They want to play for the badge on the front, not the name on the back. And I think there were some selfless performances today. And when all said and done, I don't think Marks has had much to do. Now there's their lad, to be fair, but, it, but it's been a bit of a war of attrition in the middle of the pitch. Um, and I'm delighted to have come out on top with it. We saw Hadi scoring twice last last week after, you know, not getting any goals in pre-season. Yeah. Josh has obviously come so close in so many of those pre-season games to score and yeah. finally did it today. That must be great for him and hopefully he can really hit the ground running now. Yeah, I mean, when when games are a little bit attritional like that, you, you want that little bit of quality that hit to fall to him. And, it, and to be fair, the movement with him and uh, Jonesy down the left-hand side, and then as soon as he gets in that inside left position, I, I know that he's got every chance of doing what he did. And as soon as I left his foot, I was right behind the ball, so I knew it was going in the goal. But, you know, I'm, I'm pleased for Josh. He takes on new stick at times, uh, from us as well as other people. Um, but they're the games that you, you do need, you, you know, you do need that rogue, but if you like, who's got that little bit of extra quality, and today he can look back and, and say he did his job. We've seen the league go up to five substitutions being able to make this this season you, you haven't actually done that yet is that is that a conscious decision because you feel like maybe the players out there have got you know the momentum and the rhythm to, to keep mm. it going well both games so far have been really tight going into sort of the 80th minute you know with 3-3 last week um, and 1-0 this week it's very hard to go on to the pitch at that stage because the game's in full flow um, and I mean I'm usually around the 60-65s with my first one because I think people like Kai and Josh put a lot of energy into their game and today it wasn't a lot of reward for their energy so them sort of lads need replacing um, but I, again I didn't want to really dismantle the back three because I just thought they were they, what we were built on they, they showed the platform that we needed to have at the back with their goalkeeper um, and that just fed through the team so the energy that we got from James again Jack Barham and then Maxi it shows Maxi's versatility you know he's watched the game for 85 minutes he's gone and ran his legs off for the last five to help you know, for the cause, but talking about Oli Harfield, you know, he didn't pull out till this morning. It, something had happened to his back. We think a seven-hour journey on a coach wouldn't have helped. Um, mm. But that's the kind of squad we've got. We've got people standing up and you know taking their taking their, their chance. And you know, they've got to say, like he did very very well. And we're seeing Jack Barham and James Henry do the same thing coming on, and you know they're they're coming back. James obviously didn't have too much of a pre-season. Mm. Jack obviously had his injury troubles, yeah. so so they must be close soon as well. Yeah, well, Jack didn't play in pre-season until the last mm. game in 15 minutes he got, so he's a little bit behind everybody in terms of, you know, playing playing the whole game. But Jack, no, Jack and James Henry on our bench makes us a different yeah. animal to last year, simply put, you know, and, and others, Dejan Tetek, you know, young Ashley Akpan, I've got real high hopes for him, Hayden Vaughan, so I don't know if I've missed anybody else. Jordy, I've got yeah. no problem. You know, at the end of the day, uh, it's all about the group. And we've got AJ and Ollie Scott very, very close to, to return into full training. So they'll, they'll cause me even more headaches. And it's, that's what I want to do.